Stay. Sit. Seven strikeouts in seven innings. Bottom one, Dodgers up three zip. Two on for Matt Luke as smooth as Lauren Hill. Sweetest thing I ever know. Put that bat on a collar, boy. Three run shot is eighth of the year, fourth homer in six games for Luke. The first six Dodgers score six zip LA. Moses Alou, peace. Top eight with the Dodgers up 6 2. Two run shot for Alou. His 24th of the year, a new career high. Dodgers up 6 4. Still bottom eight. Maliki watching the lead cut to 6 5. Scott Rodinsky in, two on, two out. Tony Eusebio grounds to Alex Cora. Cora can't handle it. His first error of the year. Sean Barry scores. Maliki cannot get the win. Game tied at six. Top ten runners on second and third. Mark Guthrie intentionally walks Biggio. Bases loaded. Next batter, Ricky Gutierrez. Same result, a walk. This one's unintentional. Guthrie walked Gutierrez on four pitches. Carl Everett scores the easiest run in baseball. Astros went up 7-6. They win the game 8 Top of the first, no score. Mark McGuire facing Danny Darwin. It's the fly ball to the left. Barry Bonds coming in and making the catch. McGuire had come in with a 308 lifetime average against Darwin. The pitch. To bottom of the second, no score with two on. Brent Main, the base hit up the middle off Kent Bottenfield. JT Snow trying to beat Ray Langford's throw. Safe. One nothing Giants. Top of the sixth, though, Cardinals take a 2 1 lead, and Eli Marrero with the base hit. That'll score Ray Langford and put the Redbirds up by a 3 1 count. Still in the seventh, still 3 1. Runners at second and third. Ray Langford with the base hit off Dean Hartgraves. J I threw JT Snow, scoring Royce Clayton. 4 1 cards. Top nine, bases loaded. McGuire, 0 for his last 22, with runners in scoring position, is walked again to force home a run. Yep, they walk him to force in a run. Go right-hander Jeremy Powell making his big league debut. That's Mark Clark facing Orlando Cabrera and a great catch by Sammy Sosa. Bottom of the fifth, one nothing Cubs. Powell facing Scott Service, who sends it deep to left center for his fifth homer of the year. Cubs take a two nothing lead. Top of the ninth, nobody out. Mark Ruzelenic at first. Expos down two to one. He takes off for second. Umpire Bob Davidson calls him out stealing, but take another look. The replay shows Gruzelenic might have gotten his left hand in before the tag. That's important because Vladimir Guerrero then followed with a double, though that wouldn't matter. Rod Beck, Bob Henley, fly ball. Henry Rodriguez catches it. Beck's 29th save of the season, his 12th in a row in the Dome. Top of the ninth, Rick Aguilera going for his 23rd save of the season, facing Jim Edmonds. Bases loaded, two out. Twins up by two. Edmonds, the base hit to center, knocking in Tim Salmon and Garrett Anderson, who had extended his hit streak to 20. And the score is tied at five. Aguilera blowing his eighth save of the year. Top of the tenth, Cecil Fielder at the plate against Hesker, Hector Carrasco. The line hard shot to right. Matt Lawton thinks he can get. Nope, fielder, but he does not quite. Cecil lumbering down there, the corpulent one. Now at second base, Craig Shipley at the plate, and Shipley drops the blooper into center field. It falls in front of Otis Nixon, and engine 45 coming down the third baseline. Smiling across home, Angels win it in 10, 6-5. to five. It's the first time the Angels have trailed after 8 and come back. Already up 2 nothing. Glenn Don Rush pitching to Juan Gonzalez. Not God, but it's a base hit. It'll do. Roberto Kelly scores RBI 114 for Gonzalez. Top of the fourth. Rangers at a 3 nothing lead. And the base is loaded. Hey, Rusty Greer. Also, not a home run, but it does the job. It drops in. Fernando Tatis and Mark McLemore score. It's 5 nothing Texas. They're up 6-2, bottom of the fifth. Darren Oliver was cruising. Royals with a man on. Shane Mack doubles over Rusty Greer's head. Jeff King would score all the way from first. And the Royals now down by a score of 6-3. to three. Johnny Oates comes out, takes out Oliver. Top of the eighth. Rangers up 6-4, runner on second. Gonzalez intentionally walked. And the next batter facing Matt Wisenhamp. Yvonne Rodriguez, base hit to right. Mark McLemore scores. Yvonne, who's been slumping, goes three for five with an RBI, and the Rangers win 8-4. Pudge starting to get it done again. From the Yankees, he faces Jarrett Wright. Deep in the hole of his cow. Can't get him. He'll take it. The rule of the hit. He'd later score in the third inning. Tigers still lead one nothing with Jim Tomei. Goes the other way. Frank Castillo has always been generous with the gopher ball. His 28th of the year ties it at one. We're 2-2 in the sixth. Right still in there. Bobby Higginson hits a rope to right field. 
Damian Easley comes around ahead of the throw from Ramirez. Three to two. Tigers take the lead in the eighth. Kenny Lofton. Runners to the corners. Doug broke. Hale gets him swinging. Lofton went 0 for 5 in the day. Todd Jones been the subject of trade rumors. He smokes Tomei. Tigers go on to win it. 3 to 2. Kess. The, the Braves have five different pitchers this year who have struck out 10 or more in a game. That's pretty hard to do. And one of them is Kevin Millwood. Here he is just blowing the ball by Scott Rowland and then throwing it by Mike Lieberthal and then throwing it by Rico Bronia. Six strikeouts for seven innings for Millwood. Top of the six, it's a one-all game. It's a pitcher's duel, but there's a bad pitch from Tyler Green. Up in the eyes of Javi Lopez, and it ends up off the tarp. Three to nothing, uh, three and all lifetime against Atlanta for Tyler Green, but that was Javi Lopez's 21st home run. That's the most in the majors for a catcher. Almost before he knew it, Curtis Pride made it back-to-back -back Jack. Curtis third of the year, but it's down to a one-run game in the ninth. But until they make a trade, Kerry Leitenberg is the new closer for the Braves, and he gasses John Zuber looking. 12th save of the year for Light. July. Garner looks a lot happier right there. Doesn't look like do or die. That's a 2 nothing in the second. Mark Newfield a shot. Grabbed by Edgardo Alfonso. The Fonz with a gorgeous play at third base in support of Al Leiter. Bottom of the 7-5-2 Mets. Greg McMichael, oh, just a bit up high. Over Piazza's glove, Marquise Grissom scores, cutting the Mets' lead to 5-3. Two batters later. Now it's a 5-4 game. The X-Met, Jeremy Burnitz. And Burnett's with the last of five straight singles. A little blooper by the Brewers. Jeff Cirillo scores. Leiter dejected as the Brew Crew tie it up at five. Top of the ninth, still tied. Matt Franco down the line. It just squirts away as he faced Chad Fox there. Piazza scores, and the Mets, they do it again to Milwaukee. You see the smile, 6-5. to five. The Mets' fourth consecutive win overall, and they're eighth straight over the Brewers. 39-minute rain delay, bottom three scoreless game, two outs, a man on. Keith Osick up the middle, but Edgar Renteria getting a little freaky with the leather. Edgar making up for an 0-for-5 day at the plate. Top four, Craig Council, been in the corners. Tony Womack, nice ups. He's got a master's degree, NL Steel's leader, but his 16-game hitting streak, done. Bottom four, Jose Guillen with no outs. Men in the corners, Meta bringing in Turner Ward. Ward, Kevin Young, and Guillen. Bucks three, four, and five hitters, a combined nine for 11. Two batters later, Aramis Ramirez. I said Meta slaps it to second. Council's throw takes Renteria off the bat. Council's fifth error this year. Bases loaded for the next batter, Luke Collier, no doubt. Up the middle, Kevin Young and Guillen score. Collier at three RBI day. That made it three zip. Pittsburgh goes on to win it. 9-1. to one. John Lieber wins his brag with it. Bragg was 0-3. for 3. Sits again. down Donnie Sadler with it. Sadler 0-3. for 3. And 327 hitting Mo Vaughn. You'll take that curve and like it, Mo. Carpenter 6Ks. He leaves with a 6-1 lead in the bases zone at the bottom of the eighth. Dan Plesak on the pitcher against Damon Buford. Damon tells Dan, mm, you're not my mm, daddy. Grand slam. Second slam of his career. Sixth homer of the year, said Buford. I didn't think it was out. I thought it had too much top spin. Carpenter helped us. Red Sox within 6-5. Bottom nine, Jays up 7-6. Pitcher Steve Avery, the pinch runner at second. Troy O'Leary singles, his only hit in five at bats. John Valentin scores. Avery waved home. Shannon Stewart with the great throw. Avery got toasted, but take a look. Avery, who's already scored twice this year, appears to beat Darren Fletcher's tag. He could have been ruled safe. Great throw by Stewart. Bottom 10, pinch hitter Jason Veritek hitting just 232, but 4 of 11 as a pinch hitter. Bigs up on Randy Myers. Veritek later said, I was jammed on the pitch, but you have to go up there and battle. A blown save and loss for Myers. Red Sox, geek. They won at 8-7. Bo Sox scores seven runs. 500, and they very nearly didn't have a chance. They had a 67-minute rain delay. Bottom of the second, there's Haynes, and a bases loaded jam. And Lenny Webster drills the pitch by Ricky Henderson, Eric Davis, B.J. Serhoff, and Joe Carter all come around to score. We have a three-run double for Webster, three zip O's. 5-4 O's. Bip on first, top of the fifth. Ben Greve. I believe he's going to be a good ball player one day. Home run is 14th. 6-5. Oakland. Bottom six. Webster's on third. Brady's on second. And Rafael Palmero on first. Mike Moeller facing Eric Davis. Gets him. Moeller sprints off the mound. Doesn't want Blue to change his mind. Davis couldn't believe the call. Moeller could. Bottom of the eighth. 7-5 Oakland. Bases loaded. Nobody out for Wednesday night's hero. Rafael Palmero facing Billy Taylor. 
And Rock Taylor grounds one right back to Taylor. He's goes home for one. Inch. Back to it first. A, a double, play. double play. And the O's are still one, down two. two. Three, but your next batter is Eric Davis so with tonight. second and third. Davis comes through in the clutch. He picks up Palmero. The base hit the center. Anderson and Becker score to tie it at seven. And here we go. Bottom nine. Joe Carter's on first after a leadoff walk. More on him in seconds. And Webster drills Mike Fetter's pitch to left. And in a tie game in the bottom of the ninth, you know he got out of town and he meant it. Webster, four for five on the night. In fact, he knocked in six of the nine Oriole runs. And Baltimore wins 9-7. Scoreless game in the third, the Saluki. Steve Finley on second. Andy Sheets at the plate. Hot grounded in the hot corner and it gets scooted off a shoe and a glove. Andy Fox couldn't handle it. Finley comes around to score one to nothing. Padres and it's been a new Joey Hamilton, Tim. Yeah, he's really been bothered by all these trade rumors. Plus his wife is pregnant, she's due in August and it's really affected him, but not today. He was very effective today. Great change up, using his breaking ball, establishing his fastball. He looked awful good today. He wants to show everybody that he wants to stay in San Diego instead of moving on. Kareem Garcia, one of those all or nothing at all guys, he struck out three times against Hamilton. He was still going in the eighth. Brent Brady, oh, nasty splitter, and Hamilton looks strong. Ten strikeouts and no walks. Oh, now they lost five in a row facing the Rockies today. And Todd Helton sends it high and deep, and Aloha means goodbye off of Danny Graves. 17 for Helton, 6 0 Colorado, still 6 0 in the eighth. Paul Canerco, the guy the Reds got from the Dodgers, former minor league player of the year, three run shot, ending Colorado's scoreless inning streak at a team record 16 frames. Now a 6 3 game. Sean Casey in the eighth. Sean, that was only ball three. Sean, <laughs> let's, let's go back. Let's get your bat. Sorry. Later in the eighth, Barry Larkin's on at first. Now a 6 4 game. Eddie Tobinzi. Soft ground ball. Vinny Castilla starts the double play. And the Rockies go on to win it 6 to 4. That was game one of a day night doubleheader. Vinny Castilla, he is sizzling. Two for three in this game, hitting 438 with six homers and 15 RBIs in 12 games since the All Star game. Larry Walker, three for three. And you saw Helton, one for two, his 17th homer of the year. Five.